There's some really important things that I'm seeing when it comes to you guys and your knife cuts. And I can tell you this, if I see any of this stuff going on in the real world, on your first day when you're staging or interviewing, and you do what you did today in this classroom, I would not hire you, okay? Just so you know, I'm gonna point those things out. I want you to take a look at these things and learn from them, okay? So first of all, you cut the tips off the onion, right? If this onion was whole, you cut the tip off, cut the other tip off, and then you peel your onion, okay? Cut it in half, and when you cut it in half, make sure you're looking at the root system and then cut it in half. Then you relieve the surface tension by doing that, right, of the peel, and the peel's gonna come off nice and easy. If you're not doing the onion this way, and being practical about it, and you're leaving the root system on your onion while you're cutting it, you're not following the rules. Then, little things like this, these little pieces of onion, they need to be completely cleared before I start cutting. I do not want onion peel in my knife cuts. If you don't learn the basics and learn how to peel your stuff clean, then we're not doing our job. The next thing is, do not contaminate with peels or with parsley. When you put your knife cuts on this tray to be evaluated, if there's parsley in your onions or onions in your parsley, you should expect to have points taken off, okay? We talked about the root system. The root system itself could have dirt in it. And if there's dirt in here, then that's a contaminant. I don't want to chip somebody's tooth, first of all. The other thing is, is I don't want to get some sort of disease in, that's in dirt in my food. Okay, carrots, same thing. I see this. I see you guys take the carrot and you go straight to peeling. You will save yourself a ton of time when you're doing that 50 pound bag by cutting the tips off first and then peeling it clean. And I see you guys doing this. Anybody see wet signs, wet floor signs anywhere? Come on. Peel them clean. If your carrot is not completely clean, then don't turn it in for knife cuts. I can tell you that right now, okay? The next thing that I see, you guys aren't cutting two inch blocks. If you look at your knife, as long as we're talking about the culinary knife that's in the savory, those of you that are in the savory portion of the degree, your knife is one inch and seven eighths in width. So what that means is you take your finger, you come up towards the end, and you give yourself an extra eighth of an inch and then you've got your two inch block. And then you never have to worry about that again. You guys are giving me two and a quarter, two and a half, an inch and a half, two inch blocks. When you cut a two inch block, then what you do is, is you, you give me one side, do your best to give me a 90 degree angle, right? This is a money cut. Then what you do is, then, then you set it down and then you do the rest of your 90 degree cuts. You pick the side that's got the best 90 degree angle and from there is where you make your julienne from. Okay? Then, the tomatoes. I'm seeing tomatoes in a pot and the tomatoes are all the way down at the bottom of the pot and the pot's only half full of water and the top portion of the tomato is floating out of the water. If you don't have them completely submerged an ice bath over on the stove, don't come to me about your tomato concasse not being right. And when I say tomato concasse, automatically you should know that that's small dice, unless it's otherwise designated. Okay? And the parsley needs to be pulverized, and so does your garlic. And the thing about that is, is that even if this was, I don't have a shallot, but if this was a shallot or a garlic clove, I would practicing dicing this with your little tiny fingers so you come up to your little tiny garlic clove and you do this. And make a couple horizontal cuts and then give me this. Now, 
Speed isn't what it's about. It's about precision. So go slow first and learn your precision here so that you have precision when you are ready to leave. Precision first, then speed. And I'm hoping that you take this to heart because I'm telling you what, if you don't do your onion this way on your first day of work, I won't hire you. If I see you peeling carrots and they're not clean, I won't hire you. If I see you peeling a potato and you're leaving the eyes on it, I won't hire you. Two things, two things that they say about culinary students. You're not fast enough and you're not precise. If you pick up on those things here in school and do your best you know, the speed comes with a little bit of work experience. But you have to know the precision. Okay? Please. I hope you take that to heart because I'll tell you what, knife cuts is what got me hired here at school. It's as simple as that. It's one of the first things that you're going to be doing when you go out into the field. More than likely, one of the first jobs you're going to get just to see where you're at they will probably put you in the prep kitchen or they will put you in the breakfast kitchen or in the entremetier doing vegetables and if you don't have precision with your work it makes it tough okay have a good one thanks